So you've heard that Linkfree connects your audience with a single link. Showcase your amazing social platforms and content in one place. So you're thinking, how can I add my profile? Well, it's really straightforward. So this is the Linkfree website if you haven't seen it already, and it shows you all the features you've got available. And you can click on getting started to see the official documentation. And you can also click example to see an example profile. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create your profile on Linkfree, not with all of these features, but I'm gonna help you get started with the main features of Linkfree, and then you can add them later on. For example, your links with the counters, later on you can add milestones, you can get testimonials from people, and you can also add events that you're going to. So you get to geek out with people around the world. And by adding your basic profile to get started, you'll be able to appear on the discovery page, and that way you'll be able to get more people discovering your awesome profile. So to get started, head over to the EddieHub community GitHub organization and then the link free repo. And the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is hit fork and you're gonna click fork and you wanna fork this to your profile. So this should be your account. Here on the right, it will be link free. And you wanna copy only the main branch and you're gonna create fork. So now you can see it says forked from Eddie Hub Community Link Free into my account. This is my test account that I use for video demos. So we've got a copy of this and it says that we're up to date with the main branch from the Eddie Hub Community Link Free, which is the original repository. So that's great. So next we wanna add a file. So we're gonna create a new file. And this is really important that you get this right. This needs to be data forward slash. So the folder is going to be data and it needs to be your GitHub username, exactly the same case sensitive and everything. So in this case, it's going to be Eddie Jowd number two. So whatever you've got up here at the top left is what it should be down here. So I will write Eddie Jowd two dot Jason. If it was a capital E up here, I'd put a capital E down here to have it exactly the same. And then next thing we can make some edits. Let's make some changes. So it's going to be a JSON file. So don't forget to add .json after your username. And then here we will add um, a few fields. So the documentation is really good because if I head back to the official documentation, it's got screenshots. You can follow this all the way through. And it's also got code blocks as well. So here the required fields are name, display stats public, true or false, if you want your stats um, available to be displayed, type personal, our bio and avatar. So what I can actually do is I can even copy this to make it a bit easier. You can actually do the same. Just make sure you update it to be with your information. So for example, this would be Eddie Jowd and I'm just gonna put in bracket test so no one is confused. I'm gonna keep it as public, but you can make it false if you want. You can make it private. That's entirely up to you. And you can always change it later on. I will do another video on how to update your profile. It's very similar, but there are a few little steps that are slightly different. It's gonna be personal and we'll just write here, I am a full stack developer. And then avatar, this is recommended to be your um, GitHub username again. So in this case, it would be eddiejild2.png. And then what GitHub will do is return the latest profile picture you have on your GitHub profile. But you could use another URL to another profile picture like Twitter or something like that if you wanted. As a basic profile to get started, but really we wanna add links. So I wanna put another comma here at the end. I wanna put another property called links. And then um, this is gonna be an array, so a collection. And then in here will be objects of each link. And if we go back to the documentation, we've got another more complete example where we've got links. So what's required with links is name, URL, and icon. And there's a bit of an explanation down here. And you can also then search for the icons that are available. We have two icon sets, FA and SI. So there's a lot of icons to choose from. Actually, if I open that up now, you can search for something like, I don't know, phone if you wanted to. And you can see there's lots of choices. You can click on the one you want. It gets copied to your clipboard and then you can put it in your file. So let me just, um, copy this one and I will add it in here to un under links. And if you follow me on Twitter, you can write whatever you want on that. It could just be Twitter if you wanted to. And then here, make sure you add your own information. So in this case, it's gonna be Eddie Jowd. I haven't got a second Twitter account. Um, and then the icon here is FA Twitter. But like I said, if you go to the icon search in the docs any hub, you've got more than one icon that you could choose from as well. And you can also add color if you wanted to specify the color of the button on your profile. Again, keep it really simple for today. That's all I'm gonna add. But I'm gonna do one more. 
let's just do one more let's add our github so follow me on github and here we will change that to github.com i do have an eddie Jild 2 account that's what we're actually using today for this video so i want to put that as two but i want the github icon so i want to put GitHub, I think it's a lowercase h. We could even double check, make sure you get it completely right. Yes, you can see that it's FA GitHub with a lowercase h. But we could use an alternative one. Let's just use this one, make it a bit different, paste that in there. And then we go down to the bottom and make sure you don't have this trailing comma. It happens a lot. There is a GitHub action that will check the validation of the JSON. And if it's invalid, it will fail and, and tell you there's a mistake and you can go back and fix it. But don't worry too much about the formatting of it. We do have a GitHub action that if it's valid JSON will then format the file. So try and keep it nice and tidy, but it doesn't have to be perfect. So the next thing we wanna do is we wanna commit the file and, and save it to our fork. So I recommend doing data and then putting in your GitHub username. That way it's really clear in the history of the commits what's been changed. And then I recommend not committing to your main branch. It will work first time, but when you come to edit your profile, you'll get conflicts with yourself. It'll be very weird. So by checking this button, it will make your life so much simpler. And the naming of this doesn't matter too much. So call it whatever you prefer or just use a default propose the file and when you come to here it's going to be in your fork so pay attention you must click compare across forks and then some more drop downs will appear so now we can actually select the original project which is in the eddie hub community and so the first drop down is the base repository like the, where it's going to go so we want it to go to the original repository which branch the main and then this is where is it coming from? Well, it's coming from our fork, Eddie Jowl 2 Link Free, and it's going to come from the branch that we just created. That should all be selected by default. You just need to click compare across forks and update the first drop down. Check that everything's okay. If you're happy with that, then create pull request. We do have a template here that is getting updated all the time. To be honest, if you're updating your profile, you don't need to worry too much about this template. If you're making code changes or fixing bugs or adding features to the project, then this becomes more important. Again, you can double check down here. If you're happy with it, then you can create the pull request. And then you'll see we've now redirected back to the original link free project on the Eddie Hub community. This is your pull request and then you will see GitHub actions running. So it's going to check that the JSON is valid and do some other checks. And now you can just wait for the maintainers and other community members to review your profile. And then very shortly, maintainer will merge in your pull request and it will appear on the link free project with the exact username. And what I mean by that is the platform domain is linkfree.eddiehub. Io, and then after that will be forward slash your GitHub username. So in my case, it's Eddie Jowd. I know we created Eddie Jowd too, but it hasn't been merged and deployed yet. So I'm just showing you my actual real profile and, and that will match your GitHub username. That's why it's so important to do that correctly. Your JSON file name will be your username on GitHub and be used in the URL to discover your profile. I have tags here and we do have a section in the docs so you can add tags. And the great thing about this is that people can search for tags and you can discover other people with the same tag. So I clicked on it, we're searching DevRel and here are some DevRels in the Eddie Hub community on Link Free that have that same tag on their profile. So you can go check them out. Here is Amanda, for example, and she has DevRel. And if we click open source, we can now go discover more people. So we can see we've got 127 people getting involved in open source and you can see lots of awesome people here. Another thing you can do in the search though is you could search for names. So if I search for Produma, you could actually go and find your friends and see what they're up to. So Produma has three testimonials and has their links as well, and also has the tags and some shortcut links at the top. We have full documentation on how to add the shortcut links at the top, how to add tags, how to add testimonials. If you go to the documentation right at the top, you can see getting started, quick start guide is really, really important, but also customizing your profile, how to edit your profile, how to add a bio, because you can use Markdown in your bio as well. Links, shortcut links at the top, the one I mentioned, testimonial events, milestones, statistics, tags, and so much more, and many more features coming soon. So if that sounds interesting to you, don't forget to come and geek out with us in the Eddie Hub community so we can add features to this project. You can add improvements to it by improving the documentation, making content on it. Not every 
everything is about code. So if you make content on the link free project, don't forget to tag me. I'd love to reshare it with my audience as well. And one last thing I would like to say on the link free profile, we do also have a file for no code change logs. So if you create content, you can add it to this file. Therefore, people can find another way to discover your content. I'll see you in the Eddie Hub Discord, link in the description below.